water, the elixir of an intertwined with the intricate realms of metaphysics and the rationality of the human mind. The captivating properties of water extend beyond its physical attributes, reaching into the very fabric of our metaphysical understanding. One particular aspect that stands out is the transformative power of water experiences, particularly evident in the immersive and relaxing nature of a simple act, taking a bath. In the quiet moments of bath time solitude, inspiration and creativity seem to flow easily, like the water that surrounds us. The Japanese, famous for their profound connection to nature, have produced a talented have produced a talented inventor whose expertise lies not only in water filtration but also in delving into the metaphysical dimensions of this life-giving substance. This inventor, whose name escapes memory, holds a record for numerous inventions, surpassing even the famous Nikola Tesla. His secret? The ritual of swimming laps in a giant Olympic-sized pool, immersing himself not only in water but also in a wellspring of innovative ideas. The connection between water and inspiration becomes a compelling narrative. While shower thoughts are a common phenomenon, the idea that soaking in a bathtub can provide a unique boost to one's creative faculties challenges conventional thinking. The notion that water alone, when combined with the amplification of soaking the body in pure water, can unlock the floodgates of inspiration opens a gateway to explore the metaphysical potential of water. Diving deeper into the metaphysical realms, introducing the concept of incommensurability, a fundamental secret of Pythagorean geometry. The isosceles triangle of 108, 36, 36 degrees, intricately connected to the geometry of water, becomes a gateway to understanding the profound nature of existence. The speaker draws parallels between dipole antennas used in technology to generate and transmit high-frequency signals and the bipolar nature of water, HHO. Water, he claims, is not just a physical substance but a dipole antenna, a fundamental element in the geometry of life and consciousness. The impending rollout of 5G technology introduces a new layer to the discussion, suggesting that water quality may be affected. The intricate relationship between water and technology, especially the potential impact of electromagnetic frequencies, becomes a topic for further exploration. One of the most intriguing aspects of water's metaphysics lies in its ability to store memory. Citing Japanese scientists who conducted experiments demonstrating how water, subjected to different emotions and music, exhibits distinct characteristics. This extends to the impact on plant growth when water influenced by negative emotions is used compared to water influenced by positive emotions. The implication is that water serves as a repository of memory, affecting not just human experiences but also the natural world. Contrary to popular misconceptions, the essay emphasizes that metaphysics is not synonymous with New Age esotericism. Instead, it places it in the realm of great minds, referencing luminaries like Plato, Aristotle, and other ancient philosophers whose intellectual works delve into the complexities of metaphysical thought. It highlights the intellectual challenge posed by these works, asserting that the density and depth of such writings require a level of intelligence beyond empirical knowledge, a level of intelligence that transcends conventional wisdom. Shedding light on the historical suppression of water mysteries, the essay asserts that maintaining a sense of mystery benefits capitalism. By preserving the enigma surrounding water, industries can capitalize on flawed economies, diverting attention from potential solutions that could disrupt established financial structures. Amidst the philosophical debt to appreciate the purity of water from an Icelandic glacier, acknowledging the potential benefits of carbonation, the speaker praises the thunderous Schumann resonance inherent in such water, connecting it not only to the cleansing of aquifer systems but also to the grounding of lightning, an intriguing aspect of water's multifaceted influence. The essay concludes with a reference to contemporary water solutions, notably the creation of a device capable of extracting water from thin air. The Water Liberty Guide, steeped in ether technology involving weather control, proposes innovative methods for obtaining water, even in desert water, even in desert environments. The structure of water, acting as a medium for storing information and memories, takes center stage in this exploration, aligning with the assertion that consciousness is present in the water molecule. In unraveling the secrets and metaphysics of water, this essay traverses the realms of inspiration, geometry, technology, memory, and consciousness. It invites readers to ponder the profound interconnectedness between water and the fabric of existence, challenging preconceived notions and prompting a deeper exploration of the mysteries hidden within the fluid embrace of life. That's the real secret. What you may not realize is just how efficient such a simple innovative system is, as it interested the need of buying expensive bottled water or going through the hassle of drilling a new well. And thanks to this breakthrough technology you can now literally drink from the enormous lakes in the air. The water is purified and the unique system can produce up to 30 gallons of clean, 
fresh water a day, and you won't have to worry about all the nasty chemicals ever again. The fundamentals are so easy and if properly applied, you can have a virtually unlimited water supply anywhere, even if you live in the desert.